Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is not my usual filming setup. Um, normally you can see me, I'm down here, but I wanted to do a quick ish video on my what I have in my hamster cages. Um, it, I start. I decided to film this at night so that when I was talking, it wouldn't be that annoying to them. But um, I wanted to film this right now anyway. I'm only going to be doing two of my four cages because that's it's a lot and I don't want to... I'll just explain it. So the first thing first, this cage as well as this cage, the other one I will be showing you, is... um is a bin cage that I got from Walmart. It's not as big as, like, here's my hand compared to it. It's not as big as you see all the other hamster owners having, but it is 486 square inches, well over the 360 square inch minimum that you need. And I got these from Walmart for about $10. I'm just going to start from this side. So here I have a sand bath that my this is Betty's cage by the way um I know you guys haven't like formally met a lot of my animals which is a video that I'm going to be doing pretty soon maybe they'll wake up I got this from the Dollar Tree also her bedding is and all of my guinea all my guinea pigs all of my hamsters beddings are um shredded up newspaper or scrapbook paper I'm just using scrapbook paper right now because like Betty's waking up. I'm just using scrapbook paper right now because it's just what I have on hand and I can be really and have a lot of fun with the colors. It looks like you will be able to see Betty because she's waking up. <sighs> Sorry. Next I have this wheel, a flying saucer wheel. This is the small size that I got from Petco as well. This is a little boredom breaker house that you can make into many different designs. I don't want to hurt her. There you go. This is by Rosewood, and you can get it online. This is a bar barbell. This is a little rolly chew toy that she doesn't really chew on because none of my hamsters are big chewers. But I have just put, I've rubbed a yogi, a yogi on. Oh, she's trying to grab me. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Totally scared of there. There you go. You get a little cute action from her. And then we have this wood chew that... This random one from Petco. Both of these are from Petco. This... I hate myself so much. <laughs> this... Wow, that was funny. Great comedy. This is my hamster's food dish. It does look kind of small, but she definitely can fit in it. Um, this is from Petco as well. I've already done videos on their diet, so you don't need to worry about that. It has obviously changed, but yeah. So that's her dish. She can fit in it. Here, I'll just show you her more. And then we move over here, and here we have a rice pop. Um... It looks like she has nibbled on it. Rice pops are like the only thing that I find them liking. And then we have her little igloo. Don't really want to mess with this since she is nested in it. We have her water bottle right here which I do need to fill up. There are holes back here but that's because I housed two of them at the same time and then that didn't work out so I had to separate them. Looks like she's pouching something. I just saw her pouch it. And then next we have my favorite accessory. You saw this in my hamster haul video. Once again, looks perfectly fine because my hamsters are not big chewers. Um, this is a rainbow bridge also from Rosewood. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I trust, pro I promise you I have enough, enough for them. I have what they need and more. So next we're going to move over to Jughead's cage. Also, um, she is a Sunfire 
dwarf. She's the runt of the litter. She is smaller. And I talked about that in my last video. Next, let's talk about well, let's talk about Jughead's cage. Same thing, but he does have a bigger water bottle. Not necessary since he doesn't drink a lot of water. Neither do a majority of hamsters. But anyway, starting from this side, we have a little ball. Kind of looks like he's been nibbling on it and playing with it a bit. We have a little, oh, we can't even see it. We have a little ball from Rosewood. It's given in a pack of three from Walmart. Then we have a bendy bridge. I just have it up in this position, if you can see. He doesn't climb on top of it, which so I don't have to be concerned about him trying to escape from here. He couldn't anyway, since they're, since he is shorter than my hand. And there's really not a way for him to do that. Then I have some chews. Here was just a willow stick from Petco. A pencil one from Petco. This looks like the one that he's actually been nibbling on. And a carnival ring from Petco. I try to give them different types of treats. Like I don't give them all the same ones. Because they might not like it. Looks like Jughead's waking up. And then here we have his food dish from the Dollar Tree as well. This pattern. He has his little treat in here. I trust him to have this because I know that he won't eat it all at once. Just so you know. He's already had this in here for almost a week. I don't... Maybe Jughead went back to bed. And then here is his sand bath. And I I know that this is something that Syrian owners have found. But they don't... I'm just cleaning it out. They use it more for as a potty than they do a actual an actual bath. Um, honestly, only like one or two of my hamsters that I've owned, I've had like eight in total, have, um, used one of these. And then we have his wheel, and I know that a lot of people suggest getting the large 12 and a half size, 12 inch wheel, I mean, but he is still a baby, and... He will, he's almost fully grown for his thing, for his type. Also, I know it's really dirty. I just don't want to take it out because he actively uses this. And then here we have his pink igloo from Petco. I know it's a really girly igloo, but he uses it. I don't know if you can see, but that's him waking up. Let's see if we can get some action from him. There's his little snout, if you can see that. But yeah, as you can tell, a majority of my cages and, well, a majority of the things that I use come from Petco. That's, that's just where I prefer to get them from. Next time, I'll be doing this cage and this cage. Okay, bye. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I will be posting more hamster videos. Soon I will, be, I will be doing a Meet My Hamsters video. Bye!